All right, so I'm sitting here with Aiden Wittenberg. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. I did. All right. we He picked me up from work today. He's a cool-ass dude. Known him for a few years now. Um, yeah, we're just chopping it up. I, I put together a little packet that I'm going to give to my siblings, and I thought to ask him the questions, and it's, it's turned out to be a good time. So, uh, yeah, we're, this, we're at the seventh question right now. It's, what don't you like about life? Um, yeah, we were just saying one thing, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop talking to you people, the phone, um, and yeah. <laughs> I like that it started raining outside though also. Yeah, I heard it coming on a little bit. Don't feel the rain, just keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it was now what you don't, damn, dude, turn it on, hit and record almost just killed the vibe, but like, I know, I know what you mean, but so we were on racism, right? Yeah. Fuck race. Why? Like, why? Why? Mm -hmm. If you think about it though, all it is, we all have the same cellular, well, not all of us have the same cellular structure, obviously. It's all different in its own unique way. Yeah, dude, I got you. But for the fundamentals of it. We're, we're being, we're all all here. The only difference between it is the pigmentation in the skin. Right. Yeah, dude. It's bizarre that for so long, literally everyone was just like, fuck you, because you're not like me. (laughs) You know, I'll tell you what, though, about, like, that, what you just said off that, Portland has got it right. Everyone's unique there. And there's no hate about it. It's it, Portland's motto is keep Portland weird or something like that. Really? What? Yeah, that's what I I heard that somewhere. I don't know if it's true. Huh. But. No, I I definitely have no idea about that, but. I don't know. I, I've met a lot of people from Portland in the past few months. Like, there's some cool fucking cats. Yeah. Like, if you just acknowledge people on a, as a person. Yeah. Then there should be no problem. I don't know, I literally, like, when you said racism, why? Like, dude, it just, it it resonated so much, because I've thought that so much, just why? Literally, why? Like, I don't know. Um, next question is, it's, hold on. So the last question was, what don't you like about life? This question is, it's funny how the answer to the last last question will change with age. For me, I used to not like having to get up in the morning and going to school or doing this or that or whatever, you know? The small things, like, uh, the small things that seem so large when you're small. (laughs) When you become older, you see that they are small issues and you wish you had those again. Instead of having to pay bills, wake up for work, do your own laundry... (laughs) <laughs> Still all little stuff, but my point is, it changes. What do you think you... Oh, do you think you have changed as an individual? I know I have. I'm not the same person that I was back when I was 7, 9, 11, 13. Each of those ages, I was different. I changed when I was 15. I changed when I was 16. I changed when I turned 18. I've changed so much in the past few months as I learn and grow, and you will too. How do you think you have changed in your experience of life so far? Oh, that is... That's a, do you want to read it? Order. Yes, if I could. Y'all already know. I want a drink. <laughs> this is uh, some vodka with Mountain Dew. I know that that was a long question. Yes, it was. But it was that's a very why I asked if you wanted question. to read it. Yeah, dude. Um, 
I do agree with you on the um one you put like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I put I put seven, nine, thirteen or eleven and thirteen. That's the ages oh. of my siblings right now. Sorry. Um, no, but anyways, um, no, like there is no way to really know how much you change. Yeah, just because of the it, factor, the it flies time so fast. factor. It flies so fast. Like dude. um, you like you can't really just like how when you gain weight, you don't really notice until you you know like it's too obvious. But um, no, how what how have I changed? I like when you're like seven or something, and you ask for a toy. Yeah. And your parents say no, and you get really <laughs> upset about it. I gotta, I get into something like that. Keep yeah, going, keep yes. going. Yes, and just thinking back at that, it's like, I put up such a <laughs> yeah for that For some fucking Legos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm still wearing all my work What shit. were the other ages again? Uh, it was 7, 9, 13... And 11. Oh, when you're 9 and, like, you want to go to the movie with a friend or something. Yeah. But, and, but um, your parents won't let you go see it, see the one you want. Because it's too, it's, like, rated PG-13. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and you get so upset about it. But then you realize, hey, they were probably not letting me see it for a reason. Uh-huh. There might have been some stuff that I wasn't ready to get exposed to. Uh-huh. Like, you realize once you're older that your parents are right about pretty much everything. Not, it depends. It depends. I get you. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yes, most of the time. But, yeah. No, they're, it's the best intentions. That I'll, They're just trying to do what yeah. they can do to navigate you through life at that point. Because they were there. Yeah, they like, did it. Once upon a time. Um... No, um, and the other one was 12, right? Yeah, I mean, 13, it don't matter. 13, the same, um, it's really not the same, but yes, not, 13. But, <laughs> like, you are, oh, 13, you're finally able to go see that PG-13 movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so you think you're all, you think you're all that, because, you know, you finally hit 13. Yeah. And, uh, You're a teenager now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I always find that, they're, like, kids that young are always the cockiest, too. For the most part. I know I was a little bit. I, I definitely was, dude. I remember flexing on 16 year old, but you want some of this? Uh, I'm what? So glad, really? yeah, they never, I'm glad they never said yes. <laughs> Damn. I wasn't cocky in that way. I was cocky like, fuck it, I'm going to go do this stand-up shit, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump this bike. Like, I was just like, full of myself. But... See, I think I've that's, always that's been a good unathletic, aspect. So. With, you what? I've always been unathletic. Unathletic? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You don't need to be unathletic to be funny, though. Oh, yeah. See, I'm pretty, I'm You're a pretty funny, funny guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, see, you know what the trick is for that, though? You just gotta shut off your brain. See, That's like, true. right now it's re-engaged because we're actually having a conversation, but... <laughs> that's what I do most of the time. I just shut off my brain, and I've never been happier. <laughs> it's like you don't think about all the things that you would be thinking about and stressing you out. Okay. I mean... I feel that, but, like... Then when you re-engage your brain, it's like... <laughs> dude, I, I don't know. I feel like we think about things and we stress about things for a reason. It's not just, you know, shutting it off Not, and... like, okay, the important things I'm still thinking about. Yeah, okay. But, like, the side things that really don't matter. You're just flowing. Yeah. Handling your shit. Yeah. Yeah. Word up. To break it down, you know. Huh. I kind of veered this. off that question a little bit. No, but, and I mean not a little bit. Yeah, I guess it don't matter. Yeah. We don't gotta really stick to a fucking script or nothing. Um, how do you think you'll continue to change? What do you want to change? What do I want to change? Yeah. Well, the fact that I don't have a girlfriend that would definitely be nice. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I've I've been right where you're at. I got Tinder. When I was 18. Oh, like, shit. I could get Tinder if I wanted to. <laughs> See, exactly. Out. I had that same thought. I was like, you know what? I could get Tinder. <laughs> I, I, I might do it. And then I did it. And I paid I paid $6. That's what I authorized myself. Like, that's what I thought was happening. I authorized $6 for one month. I was going to try it out for the gold. You have to... Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to... You know what? I'll, I'll get one month of gold and I'll see how it goes and whatever. But it took 80 bucks from me, man. <laughs> it took 80 bucks. Did you remember to turn it off? 
I, I probably forgot, and that's what happened, but <laughs> it took 80 bucks from me, and I had Tinder for a fucking year, so... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what happened right there. Yeah. It was, it was whatever. But what I, why I even said that in the first place was... To let me realize that I'm old enough for Tinder now. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that, that too. No, I... Dude, that's, that's like right before... That was right before I got with my ex. I lived most of my 18-year-old... Uh, life single but I met my ex and if you do meet a girl this is all I'm saying just don't rush it dude I always get the bitchy ones it seems like <laughs> like <laughs> they're <laughs> like I'm not even kidding with you the first this one we're, girl we're all um, bitchy but she well we weren't even fully dating yet but we had a, like a thing you know yeah and she, so like we were talking we had like kissed a few times and this was like freshman or no sophomore and freshman year by the way um and she her her parents invited her ex over for new year's eve what yeah because they didn't know we were talking apparently that's what i was told i don't know that her parents did it or is that what she told you yes that's what i was told i don't know if that's true which i'm doubting so you were both there no you and the ex Mm -mm. oh yeah and i'm like i'm like i'm cool with it as long as nothing happens. You know, I'm a pretty chill guy. Like, trust, you gotta have trust. In yeah, yeah, I mean, you, yeah. Um, but then, she texts me at midnight, she's like, yeah, we kissed. I'm like, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Her parents didn't designate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking no way, dude. And then, I, then she ghosted after that, bro. Went around the school telling all the girls that I only asked for sex and nudes. Hmm? Yeah, bro. Then she tried getting a, um, like, she see, she had sent me a photo, right? She wasn't even fully sh- showing her boobs. She was just showing, like, it was like a sweatshirt, and she was, like, pulling up. Yeah, like her and, like, abs. You couldn't see her nipples or anything. She just teasing. Yeah, she's a tease, bro. And then she went to the school and snitched on me, and I'm like, fuck. Bro. What? She yeah. just set you up? She, yeah. She's like, uh, I didn't send it to him. I'm like, bullshit! So how did you get the picture? Um, uh, she sent it to me. And, yeah, well, and she's obviously, like, that's what I'm saying. He's showing people this. I'm like, I deleted it. I didn't screenshot it. I didn't do nothing. I'm like, I can't help if she decided to send that to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fucking. Like, dude, only the bitch you want, but I'm telling you. That's, that's some conniving shit, dude. She literally cheated on you and then blackballed you and then fucking sent you nudes and set you up. <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's ridiculous, bro. Bro. Okay, now you know you you met that. You know you you know that. Don't. And I liked her too. Like uh, I know how it goes. She was the first love, bro. <laughs> my first love fucked my best friend and like five other dudes. Oh, dude, that had to have been rough. I stayed with her for seven months after that because I was stupid. And Don't then, do that. Guess if what? that ever happens to you, leave, bro. Dude, I would have left right. Focus like, on you. Immediately after. I know, I should have. I don't Especially know why I didn't. Especially if it's your best friend. Sorry, dude, I, I, I don't mean to laugh at this. <laughs> no, dude, laugh it up. <laughs> I, I loved her. Um. Well, yeah, That's... I get that. You loved her. I you thought I did. I, no, I don't. Only very few people know what love is. Yes. Because not everyone is the perfect match for each other. And a lo- did you know like 50% of the marriages end in divorce? That's a fucking wild statistic. 50%. I don't know. I'm not going to quote you on it, but that's fucking bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> that, again, that's just something I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. <laughs> don't hate me on it. Dude, it, I true. mean, it makes sense, though. I mean, I don't know. So far, 100% of mine haven't worked out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 100% of mine has. That's so. a true statistic. <laughs> <laughs> Look, should we move on to the next question? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay, a good saying to live by is be the change that you want to see. This world, as you'll learn as you grow older, needs a lot of work. People are greedy. People are confused and misguided. People like to have power. In most cases, they abuse that power. It's sick. All we can really do is focus on ourselves And be that change that we want to see amongst all of the ailments. Focus on being your best self. But even, but an even better way to look at it, be better than your best self. 
Know what you want in life and chase it. Help the ones you care about along the way and make it. That's not even a question. <laughs> it's just something I wrote in there, I guess. <laughs> um, who are your best friends? His name is Brayden. His name is Brayden? Cool. Shout out to Brayden. Brayden Varela. He is... I met him about a year ago, maybe two years. I think it was a year. Yeah. Ah, dude, me and this guy, we just click. The next question is, what do you and your friends like to do? Smoke, hang out, watch anime. Hey, watch anime? Yeah, bro. What's your favorite anime? My Hero Academia. I'm not familiar with any anime oh, at all, so... My Hero Academia is like a... Ooh, dude. It's it's so <laughs> good. It's so okay, good. I've, I've watched snippets of some, and like... See, uh, it's been a while, but like right when stuff, I was... Though. Yeah, right. When I was watching, I was like, yo, this shit's fucking interesting. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll definitely have to look into more of it. But, uh, yeah, con- continue if you want. Otherwise, I'll move on. Oh, no, you can move on. That's good. Okay. Um, next question is, what kind of music do you like? Literally, um, fuck, I don't even know the genres, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, Stuff that everything. sounds good. Stuff that sounds good. A little bit of everything. What yeah. up, man? Yeah. Something like... I'm, okay. I'm not very modern with music. Okay. okay. I'm like te- like a few years behind. Classic shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was in classic shit for a while. And that's why I'm so far behind right now, dude. Yeah. I'd be trying to catch up and I'll be like playing music and people are like, why are you playing that? That's for like so fucking Fuck old. Fuck man. Play it with the times if you want. Like... I'm like, bro, sorry, it's my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Let me... Fuck, what the fuck was I going to say exactly? I was going to say, uh... Okay, do you like... What What do you... Okay, the next question is... I'll read this, but I'll expand on what I was going to say. Because it'll coincide. Um, what? Why do you like that music? Is it the artist? What they are saying? How, how they are saying it? Is it the beat? The melody? The tone of it all? The way it makes you feel? Ask yourself. Go ahead. Take a break. Listen to a few of your favorite songs. List them off and why you like them. What is it about that? Okay, we can't... I found out that I can't play music while I'm recording this shit. Oh, because of... Yeah, so, um, I mean, after we're after we're done with it, we could run through some songs or something. But I'll expand on... This kind of touched up on it all, but, like... Like, do you like, like, the lyrics? Like, is it the way it makes you feel? Like, what 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 is it about? The lyrics, the beat, and, um, just... The mood that it brings, yeah, like either the whole vibe, song, the whole vibe, dude. There's certain songs that bring low moods. There's certain songs that bring medium moods. There's certain songs that just blast it through the roof with moods, bro. Yeah, like uh-huh. their song you played will get in your feels. Uh huh. <laughs> like I like this. My boy John Belly. He's not. I don't actually know him, but John Bellion. He has put. He is putting out some fire shit. John Bellion. Yes. Uh, I'll listen back to this and look him up. Uh, but. I like this it's song. It's like. I, I don't know if I can even say it, but, um, no, Lo, uh, All Time Low. All Time Low? By John Bellion. When I was in a really not sh- good place. All Time that, Low? Yep, All Time Low, it helped me out. So far, you're yep. going to have a lot. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying that now, man. Yeah. <sighs> Should we move on? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more about music. Um... What's your favorite food? Why? Uh, that you're a fucking as a chef. That's a probably big question, huh? What's my favorite food? I like to make or just fucking do both. Okay, yeah. um, my make is my spaghetti. Okay. Um, no, actually, make is swordfish. Really? Yeah, dude, that shit melts in your mouth. Okay, I've never, I've never had it. I've oh, definitely never cooked it. Favorite fish by all time. Um, so would that would that be both? Mm, yeah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If your, I can, your favorite food to eat and a fucking. But I have to make it. Clearly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta put that fucking effort in. Yeah, like truffles, truffles. Dude, do you know what those I've are? made Oreo truffles. They're, they're they're probably not anything at all. What you're even talking about? Truffles, like the like what you use for cooking. Okay, break it down. Um. So basically, they're in the ground, and you use pigs to go and find them. Like black Definitely truffles can sell this. for like ten thousand dollars. And yeah. Or and white truffles, depending on how big and how much. Okay, I've definitely never what I what I made were definitely not truffles. They, they were... <laughs> like so. Think about it this way: the flavors that you have boosted in there 
if this is how what hat I think truffles Boosted. do. Okay, break it's it. like it's like you're adding it in when you add them in. It's like it just expands the flavor. Huh. Like opens up new ground. Yeah. Interesting. And like when I cook, I like to make waves of flavor, so it just like crashes in. <laughs> Dude, you're a, you're gonna be a fucking phenomenal chef. Oh, thank you, that, man. You're if, really if breaking this it ever down. Gets, if this ever gets, if I ever become famous, bro, I will shout this one out, you out. I'll be yeah. like, hey, back in the day, <laughs> I recorded a podcast with this, my man named Jake. You're gonna want to check it out. Word, man, ditto. I'll be like, go to his restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, this question's kind of stupid. Um, I threw in some just easy questions because yeah. it's for my siblings. Like, but uh, you know, I wanted to get them thinking too. That's why there's some deeper questions. But uh, what kind of car do you want someday? Why? I don't really know we have cars. Yeah, I feel you. Um, but I want something reliable, honestly. Yeah, just something that like, really gets you to point A to B that you enjoy has a good sound good system. Good gas maybe. mileage. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, like yeah, something. That it also has to look good. I mean, not yeah, it doesn't yeah, have mean, to look good, but like it would be appreciated if you, it looked good. You said you want to be a family man. Like, get something like. Do you want something like that, or do you want something like that? Like, <laughs> I want like a car. Just okay. Yeah. Yeah. You let your wife have the fucking <laughs> minivan. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, dude. I ain't driving no minivan. I'm gonna, if I'm new, we're throwing some keggers in that minivan, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, what kind of phone do you want to have? Why? That's just stupid. I mean, you got a phone. iPhone? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got a phone. Um, when you wake up in the morning, what ec- what excites you? What do you look forward to in each day? Is it going to school, getting school over with, and getting to do whatever you want the rest of the day? Is it friends? Why? Okay, there's, there's a thought process behind this, right? Um, it depends if I have any marijuana on me. Okay. If I have like a cart, that's <laughs> the first thing I'll do when I wake up. I'll take rips. Right. Okay. Because yeah. you, you wake know, waking me. Home. Yeah. Um. What excites you? F- cooking. Okay. So, what do you look forward to when you do that? Um. I hang out with my friends, honestly. Yeah. Okay. So it, the last thing is—is is it friends? Um. You are you done with school? No. You're I'm still just s- getting my GED right now. Okay. Yep. I yeah I got I'm, my GED. I'm in a, I'm trying to go to Wapiton. I actually called before I even dropped out. I'm like, hey, you guys take GEDs? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dip. <laughs> um. They have a pretty good cooking school there though. In Wapiton? Yep. Really? Yeah. Huh. I don't know, the only, back when I was looking into cook, cooking school, there was one in Minnesota, the closest one I saw. I didn't even see one in Wapiton. Yep. Two years. Two years? And that's all you want to do? Uh, I want to open a dispenser, too. So I'm, right. gonna, I'm in a minor business. <laughs> Plus, my sister is an accounting major, so. An accounting major? Yeah, bro, she can do my books. <laughs> okay, I got you, yeah. I'll pay her for it, though, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, this one's kind of stupid, too. Um, how old will you be if you make it to the year 2,345? Oh, God, so much math. Yeah, it's kicking in some math. Uh, what year were you born? 2002. 2002? So you'd be 344? Or 43? Yep. Yeah. Somewhere around that. Yeah. Ah. It depends on the month. <laughs> That's also a fact you have to consider, too. Yeah, I'm going to skip that question. Okay, this one's kind of interesting, though. So, kind of connecting to that. What do you think the world will look like in 2345? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, there's no really... There's no way we can really there's say There's no way to answer Cause that. Because if you, if you look at... Okay, honestly, this is a trippy thing to think about. I think aliens fucking... Exist? Definitely. I'll, I'll get into that, too. Yeah. There's no <laughs> way that we are the only source that. of life in this universe. Exactly, dude. That's exactly what I put in here. I'll, I'll get to that. We'll skip that for now. But um, history, it's always, like, technology has kind of been the same up until the 60s. And then there was the Roswell crash. Yep. That's why I, I brought up aliens. Because ever since then, technology is fucking 
Like, mm-hmm. the, the 60s are totally different than the 70s. The 70s are totally different than the 80s. The 80s are totally different than the 90s. 90s. And it just keeps going ever since the 60s. Otherwise, it's been relative, relatively the same. <laughs> Not really. I mean, there was, like... We were getting into manufacturing. We had some world wars. Like, you know, shit was popping off a little bit. But, like, 60s hit, and it was, like, boom. Like... Yep. But who knows if we'll even, the human race will still be around in two... Like, right, exactly, dude. We might fucking kill ourselves tomorrow. Like, right. <laughs> With how much shit that we're doing to this planet on a daily basis. Yeah, we probably killed ourselves last week. Yep. Fuck, man. Okay. <laughs> Can you believe it's not butter? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally a question. That's a question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, literally the next question after that is, do you believe in aliens? Why? Oh my, because there's no fucking chance. Yeah. Oh wait, sorry, I didn't know. Here, let, me, let me read what I wrote about it, and, yeah. then, and then we'll discuss after that. So, I for one do believe in aliens. I find it too unlikely that we are the only ones in the entire universe. I mean, think about it. You are one person out of billions living on a giant rock that travels through space, orbiting around just a single star, along with eight, arguably seven, because Pluto's technically not a planet anymore, but I still count it, because it's there. (laughs) Yeah. Um, (laughs) Sing. Okay. You are one person out of billions living on a giant rock that travels through space, orbiting around a single star with eight planets. That's called... That's called a solar system. And that solar system exists within a galaxy. Now, a galaxy is made up of trillions upon trillions of stars. Each of those trillions of stars within the Milky Way, more, you know, Milky Way's our galaxy, obviously, um, more than likely have some planets of their own orbiting around them. Other solar systems. The chances are, and chances are, at least one of them has to have life. With kids like you and me just spending time with family eating food playing sports doing what doing what they do you know pretty crazy huh now with all that said that's just one galaxy yet the uni- yet in the universe there are trillions upon trillions of galaxies so think about that think about how insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things we are just a tiny 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 little dot amongst trillions of other tiny dots you are one person, one soul, one being within it all. So yeah, I believe in aliens. I ask you again, do you believe in aliens? Is your, que- is your answer still the same? Explain your thought process and how you feel about everything you just read. I, I broke that down super, insign- or super like, fucking simple because you know, yeah. the youngest of my siblings is seven. Like, yes. You know, I I put it simple enough for him to put that into perspective. Like yes. But yeah, I mean, you obviously you were probably like, you know, I get that. Like I know all that. As, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As as you were hearing. That, that was actually gonna be most of my explanation. Yeah. Right. Um, but the same mind process. So, so yeah, exactly. Explain explain your. You you. You know, you probably you feel the same way. Honestly, we can probably skip that one and be good right now. Yeah. But like, it's there's just no way, dude. We're not the only ones. There's no chance. Like at the odds that we are, I feel like the odds are lower. I don't actually. The odds are lower that we're the only ones. Yeah, I feel like that has to be there because think about how many different, like there could be another solar system exactly like ours out there. Right. We just yeah. Know it. Yeah. Like. We, we, if you There's think probably, about how far we've actually looked in space, it's not that far. Yeah, right. It's we like we know more about amount. space than our oceans, too, by the way. Yep. Like, Which is fucking... Uh, sorry, I don't mean to cuss. Dude, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ridiculous, by the way. Like, how do we not know that much about our oceans with this day and age? Why we focus more towards the stars than discovering our own planet? It kind of coincides... I don't know, I've thought about this. Like, I'm just speaking aloud right now. Obviously, I'm thinking aloud is what I meant. Um... In generally, you know, people, you know, like I was talking about knowing your best self and being your best self and all that, being better than your best self. Not a lot of people really do that. Everyone is always in each other's business yep. rather than their own. And it's kind of a reflection in, in, in my in my eyes. It's just something I've thought about. Like, 
we know more about space, everything that's around us, rather than what is us. Yes. Like, like, did you know we only uh, the? Um, oh my gosh! Like, what would our what would our brain be like if we used a hundred percent of our brain? Yeah, I've heard we only use like ten yep. percent. I don't know. I don't know how real all that shit is. Um, but like, have I you should... ever seen the movie Limitless? No. Have you ever seen Carrie? Yeah. Wait, yeah, I've seen Limitless. Limitless is that where he takes NZT is what it's called, yeah. and he fucking. There's actually a TV show about it. Yeah, I saw it. I don't think I. I don't. I think I saw all of the first season. There's probably more than that now, because I, I haven't really been watching TV. I just been fucking writing. But uh. I don't know. I like I watched that shit. At, I was probably like twelve years old, maybe. Thirteen or some shit, and I was like. I want that. <laughs> like, I want to use more of my brain. What the fuck? I'm only... I felt ripped off, dude. Like, I'm only getting 10% of myself. Like, what would we be able to do with 100% Right, of dude. Brain? I've always... This sounds stupid as fuck, but I've always had... Dream... I've had lucid dreams about it, and I've... Oh, like, ever since... I don't know, I was probably like 10 years old. I just discovered YouTube, and I f- came across telekinesis. And I was like, I want to move shit with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, that sounds so badass, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you <laughs> how do you feel about being a tiny dot in the universe? You know, I accept it. There's no way to change it. <laughs> yeah, right? You can't just grow. You're not Ant Man. I mean you can grow, like, you know, I think that's part of life is growing, but like you can't just fucking be a universe. You're not Thanos. You can't just snap your fingers. <laughs> yeah, you can't just snap your fingers and be a universe. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know why I said that. That was a simple one. Um. Okay. <laughs> you are more important than just a tiny dot in the universe. <laughs> to me, you mean the world. It's something we will... Okay, yeah, this is personal to my, to my siblings, but I'll read it anyway because I forgot exactly what I wrote. <laughs> To me, you mean the world. It mean, er, It's something that we will talk about when you're older, but I wouldn't be around if it wasn't for you guys. I love you more than words can describe, and I just want you to know that. And know that whatever you need in life, whether it's advice, to talk, you need help with this or that, questions about girls, boys, don't focus on them. You'll find who you need someday. Whatever it is, I'm here for you. Don't be afraid to ask. Chances are I went through it too. And if not, I'll have a different understanding, perspective than you. And maybe we'll, I'll be able to point something out that you have missed. I was fucking up on that last part. But. Um, <laughs> next question is, can you say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. The next one is, now, can you say it ten times fast? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try it. I, I, I wrote this and I didn't even try it myself. Super- Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 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 Ugh. Fuck, dude. I'm not even gonna attempt it. What do you think of chores? Not so bad, really, huh? Shit's annoying, though. They're a necessary evil. Uh, yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> um, I literally just said it. Oh, that's weird. Um, <laughs> keep doing them, though. And listen to your mom and dad. They care about you more than words can describe, too. And whenever they do something you don't like, such as saying, go brush your teeth, go to bed, take out the, take out the trash, no, you can't go and play with your friends. No this, no that. Anytime you feel like they are just being mean... I assure you that they have the best intentions behind it and only want you to succeed. So be mindful of that and just try to be respectful. You're going to have a lot of fights, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of things you feel you should be able to do. Just be patient. Before you know it, you'll be an adult and can do whatever you want. But enjoy the time you're young because you're going to miss it. It literally goes so fast. I promise you. Do you have a bathroom I can use really quick? Yeah. Okay. It's, you just open the door it's immediately to your left thank you man yeah. I will be right back folks <laughs> uh, I wrote that last part to my siblings cause anyone out here 
listening and is older than, you know, like, you know, 15 or some shit, like, you've probably understood a lot of that already. You know, you're going to have a lot of fights, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of things you feel you should be able to do. Just be patient. Yeah, whatever. Honestly, like, most of the people listening to this, you know, you're probably going to have already been all through that, and you're like, Jake, you know, I, I know that. But, I don't know. Parents are important. One One thing we were talking about before I started this recording was, you know, my parents have been split up as long as I can remember. I've always had two Christmases or whatever, but there's people out there who still only have the one Christmas, but they're missing a whole parent, like, or even both. It's just life sometimes. <laughs> Next question. Uh, what do you think of life now? Is your answer still the same as before? Yes. Yeah? I don't know, I, like I said, I wrote this for my siblings, because them going through all the questions that were already asked, they might already have a different perspective on some things, because, you know, it's going to get them thinking as a little young, and yes. they probably already thought it before, but they've never been confronted with those thoughts, it's just something that they've fucking, like, processed, and, like, barely even, didn't even process, is what I mean, they've just thought about, like, what do I want to do in life, and it just moves on to the next thing, because it... Honestly, you're busy at a little kid. Like yeah. when I was when I was about seven or so, uh, when I was older than that, I wanted used to want to be a when I was seven. I used to want to be a marine biologist. Were then it switched to an anesthesiologist. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and now it's a cook. And uh, a I used to always kind of want to be a cook. Yeah, so I've, kid, I feel right? that. But... I got all my fucking cooking knives right here. Oh, nice. You want to check them out? Yeah, I know yeah. you you appreciate something like that. I like the bag, though, dude. I re- my parents got me one, and it's just it literally closes and zips, and I really wanted one like this. Yeah? Oh, because, oh, yes. These are nice. Oh, I like this handle. I made that because the handle broke, so I just fucking, I took some. Oh, uh, this is a nice knife, though. Did, yeah. Where'd you get this at? Uh, my dad got it for me for my 19th birthday. Oh, wow, it's really nice. I'll have to send you a picture of the one I got. It's like one, eight knives, and nice. I got a, like a cleaver one, a cleaver to the. Did you just that. run through each yeah. brand or each. Uh, type of knife through your head real quick? Like, yeah. You're like fuck math, but then you're like, I got that on the knives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I was trained. I was shown how to use one of these, but I'm not very good at it. Yeah, the sharpener. Yeah, and I need a. I think I'm just gonna buy an actual knife sharpener. For them, yeah, because some of them are like, but one of the tips. All that really does is kind of just cleans up the edge a little yep. bit before you. You just that's under- not actually what you're supposed to use for angle. sharpening. Just understand the angle and fucking move freely. Yep. If you're um when you're actually sharpening sharpening it, you're supposed to use a knife sharpener. Um, I I use stones on all those. Yep. Yeah. Stones are better. Yeah. That's a my dad printed that with a three D printer. Oh, I was like, this is a I'm gonna nice make that. Knife. I'm gonna make that the picture for this podcast, just because like no one's gonna yeah. understand what we're talking about right now. Yep. But I'll I'll take a picture of that for the podcast. Uh, thanks for having me on the podcast, by the way. Dude, fucking, I've wanted to have some. Oh, you gotta fold that other part oh, real quick first. Oh, no, like oh. the bottom part. Oh, that's my yeah. bad. No, you're good. Yeah, I've, I wanted to. One of the reasons that really pushed me into starting this podcast was I want to do interviews and shit like I accidentally made this like, I didn't accidentally make this this uh this packet I thought of it last night and I worked on it today at work but I didn't think that I would be using it for for this right now it's a like, good it's a good material for it though. it's it's not terrible like I might honestly continue this like just keep one of these packets as and ask people to... Yeah, like, run through this packet. Yeah. Like, make that a... You know, because we're, we're touching on a lot of shit. A lot of like, shit. Like, we're, we're just fucking... It's a, it's a good thing. It's ripping <laughs> like, back and forth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the first of... Hopefully first of many. I, I don't know. First of uh, trying to, I guess... If you ever will be back on the show, just on the podcast, just let me know. Dude, like I told you, like, I'm going to be getting a whole... I'm going to make an actual setup. It'll be on... Uh, I want to start doing it with video too Oh that would be cool Yeah I'd have to look presentable though (laughs) Look presentable dude I mean we're just chilling I just got off work I'm still half in my work clothes Like 
Uh, why? Oh, I skipped the whole question. Okay. We've kind of touched on this a little bit, but it's... What do you... Excuse me. What do you want to be when you're older, professionally speaking? What most interests you? We've definitely touched on that. Like, yeah. you want to you wanna be cooking. Like, you want to be... Down in dispensary. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. main reason for the dispensary, though, bro... Yeah. Just to sit in the back and smoke weed all day. You gotta... You're gonna have to put a lot of shit in... Oh, no, for that I, first. I, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah you're... Like, no, but no, right. like, when I have people growing shit in the, in the dispensary, then I get... I'm gonna be, like, the first one to try it out. You're not gonna wanna sit in the back and actually smoke, bro. You're gonna get too bored. You're gonna wanna go look at all the plants or something. Or just go spend time with your family. You won't even need to be at the office if you really get to where you're talking about. Like, yeah, if I see I wanna have more than one store. I wanna have like a chain of this place. Exactly, dude. You won't even need to be at an office. At that I'd time. like but if I go to a legal state, I bet I could get a loan for a dispensary. Maybe Especially Oregon. There's probably a lot already, like in pro- like happening. Like Yeah, but I mean there's always a need for that product. You gotta, you gotta f- figure out which ones are gonna be doing it soon. Like, and... And get set up there. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's just what I'm thinking right now. Like, I could be wrong. Maybe you could like, totally go to the one a, here is gonna clean up when it goes. When we get... My homie works at the fucking medical grow-up place here? right here. Yeah, yeah. That must be a nice job. He, he can't disclose nothing, so I'm not gonna say his name right now. But Yeah. Like, he, uh... Yeah, he opened up a shop... And, oh, then, that's and now he, he he barely even, I, from what he told me, like he he doesn't even barely go to the shop anymore that he, he opened. opened that. Yeah, one he here? he opened up a a pipe shop like smoke shit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and he barely even he told me he barely even like sets foot in there now. Because like he obviously he handles his shit, but like he he just doesn't need to go there. He's got he pays someone else to run it for the most part, and he just. He works at the medical grow up. He's like a he's in the lab or whatever. Like he's, yep. yeah, fucking shout out to you, bro. You know who you are. Fucking, yeah. What do you want to be when you're older? Blah blah. What? Why does that interest you? Um. Well, I know that it's a money maker. For one. I know that I'll be able to make my own edibles and stuff for it. Where? Like, I'm gonna, they're gonna be my signature edibles, and they're gonna be, like, stuffed full of marijuana. <laughs> like, you bite this, and you're staying home. You stay at home for the rest of the day, bro. Like, I'm talking about four ounces in a, like, brownie mix. Damn. All right, word. <laughs> yeah. And that could be, like, high-quality stuff, too. Yeah. Do you read it all? Read? Yeah. I do, um... Uh, like, not very often anymore, but, like, I used, like, mythological books. Okay. Like, and, um, like, oh, there was this one book, The Vampire Assistant, have you ever read that? Like, Cirque du Freak? Uh, Cirque du Freak, yes. Dude, I read all 12 of those. I didn't finish all of them, but I loved the books. Dude, it's, holy fuck, you couldn't have brought up a better book series. That's, like, the only one I've read. <laughs> <laughs> it's, some, have you ever seen the movie? Yeah, they butchered it. They butchered it. They fucking. I would have loved up. to have seen more though, dude. Just even though they fucked so it you, up, like okay, you 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 said you only read the Vampire's Assistant. That's the number. That's the second book in the series. Uh, I've I've read up to like okay, so he was in the mountain or whatever. He that's was the doing, fourth Vampire Mountain. I think I was like a book past that. So okay, fuck. What was going on in that? I don't remember at all because that they, was like two years ago. That was when they really introduced uh, fleeting, is what they called it. It's when he would run really yep. fast as a vampire, and so he was he was sitting on his back though because he couldn't so run as fast because run, he was yeah. only a half vampire. And the and stuff they put him through though, that would have been so much better in that movie. Oh, was it Vampire Prince then? No, 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 no. Because that was it the, was Cirque du Freak for sure. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. It might the, have. The, oh, sorry, the I don't remember book. the books. Maybe. Dude, I remember, like, almost all the books. I, I remember the story. I want to like, go to the library again and just start reading those books. Yeah, right, word. Because yeah. there's such... Shout out to that author. Like, Darren I don't know, Shan. Yeah. Darren Shan. Oh, yeah, that's right. He put his own name in there. Darren yeah. Shan. Yeah. You are an amazing author, my guy. Like, word keep up, up the good work. It was fucking A Living Nightmare, <laughs> Vampire's Assistant, Tunnels of Blood, fucking... Vampire Mountain was the fourth one, I think, and then... I did like the actor choice, though, 
for um yeah yeah dude yeah yeah i feel you they they got some good shit in that movie but like like the guy they had playing crabs crabsley crabsley fuck is that the fat guy uh the orange hair oh crabsley i thought yeah, you said okay i misunderstood what you said yeah obviously yeah yeah he's a good guy <laughs> <He's> a good <laughs> that was a good guy for that have you seen Step Brothers? Oh my gosh, who hasn't seen Step Brothers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that makes me sad, though, because the future generations aren't going to know what Step Brothers is, bro. Watch Step Brothers. It's. I don't. Fuck, I don't know the actual. It's got Will Ferrell and the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy we're talking about. I don't know his uh, name. He was name. also in Talladega Nights. Yeah, uh, the, both of them. Will Ferrell. Yep. Yeah. He's the one in that movie who uh, slept with Will Ferrell's wife. After Will Ferrell got into an accident. Fuck, man. Uh, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> Why is that? What is it about it? Dude, this shit. I like this. This packet is neat. My favorite movie? Yeah. Deadpool. Deadpool? Okay, I have not I have not seen the second one, so don't give me no spoilers. Okay, or no spoilers. Um, but, after, okay, so Disney took over Deadpool, though, before Deadpool 2 came out. Really? Yes, I believe so. Um, And it just didn't hit as different as i mean it still yeah. hit but like yeah. it wasn't he wasn't deadpool. able to say i heard they're making a script for season three of, i mean not season three deadpool three really yep i heard it's getting written by bob's burgers the, mm-hmm. the people <laughs> like, <laughs> the 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 people who wrote bob's burgers yes dude that's crazy what the fuck why? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, cool. I imagine it's gonna be good though. Yeah, like and Bob Burgers. I haven't watched that in a while, but I remember it being pretty nifty. Like <laughs> Rick and Marty would have been a better one though. Yeah. Um. Here, answer answer these questions by yourself real quick. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna pee real quick. Just read aloud and okay. talk. My favorite color is blue. Um. My eyes are also blue. If you're wondering. Favorite ice cream. Oof, that's a tough choice. I'm gonna have to go with just plain old chocolate, though. Nope, licorice. Sorry, that's my bad, guys. Favorite bubble gum, Hubba Bubba Original. What's what's my favorite slash spirit animal? My favorite animal. Probably would have to be the silverback gorilla. Um, my favorite animal, I mean my spirit animal, sorry guys, would probably be I don't know, I'm gonna have to say I'm, I'm my spirit animal is probably a silverback gorilla. Your spirit animal is a silverback gorilla? Yes, that is also my favorite animal as well. Okay. My goals in life are to have a family. Okay. Um, get a dispensary going. Get through college. Um, just genuinely have a good time in life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of already... We kind of touched on that. Yeah, like we that's why I didn't go into yeah. it. But And actually, this is the end of it. It says, I know this is getting pretty long, and you're probably bored, so I'm going to end this right here. Uh, the purpose of me making this for you guys is because when I was your age, I, I, it would have been nice to have the answers to all these questions at a young age, or at least to have asked them and put my thought power towards whatever goals and ambitions I had when I was your age. Our ambitions are limitless. Never forget that. You can do anything you say your mind to. Again, talk to me about anything whenever you want. I got you. And really just think for yourself. Don't let anyone, not even me, persuade you or guide you anywhere that doesn't feel comfortable. Form your own opinions and make something of yourself. Listen, but don't follow. Think before you speak. You learn a lot by just observing. 
And last page just literally says, I love you. That's all that's on the last page. <laughs> <laughs> it printed fucking perfect. It did. Yeah. Because the way that I, I, I typed it up on my phone and then I emailed it to myself and then I signed in on the computer, on the work computer, and <clears throat> I printed it off at the work computer and like I said, I didn't mean to print as many copies as I did, but I accidentally went through a whole fucking ream of paper. Really? Dude, I, I don't know how much is in a ream. Probably like 500 sheets? Something like that. Or 300 or something probably, but... Because, I mean, thinking about it, there's 21 pages in here and I printed 11. So, that'd be... You printed 11 of those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be... Fuck. <laughs> no, I lost my just thought. calculator it? That'd be 200... 10 and then 231 you got this yeah 231 what what were the numbers in uh 21 times 11 yep you're right 231 231 yeah. ah no i just threw my phone down and i not tap myself fuck dude i've been there <laughs> <laughs> um so right away we started this off like uh would you would you I was like, do you want to fill this packet out? Or, like, do you want one of these or whatever? And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to make you fill all this out. I'll just ask you the questions yeah. if you want to do it like that. But now that we went through them all, do you want to actually take this, fill it out, so you can look back on it? Bro, you know what's better than that? You can we listen. Have a, we have a list of recording guys. I... <laughs> we didn't get through the whole thing though. Like it's yeah. some that you it was could it was the most part of it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. There was a few on there. You, I mean, it's just some some tangible that you can look at, like yeah. by yourself. You know, you said you think a lot. You think the most when you're by yourself. And you're like, yes. Something that you can just look at. Because like sometimes you just have to go out and look at the stars and ponder on life itself. Facts, dude. The fact that you said look at the stars, man. You're a fucking cool dude. Like, I. It's something that my dad and I have talked about, like. In, in history, the people who didn't come out of the cave and go look for food or whatever, died. the cavemans, you know, like, they died. Or the people who didn't look at the stars and ask themselves, like, what else is there? Like, why are we just sitting here paying taxes? Like, bullshit. Like, like the, just those simple fucking thoughts, literally looking up at the stars. That's why I was like, the way, just the fact that you said that, like, uh, yeah, here. Fill it out if you want, you know, take, it's just, <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I literally called it, it's, it's called the oh, brother packet. I'm going to set that knife on top of the, on top of this packet and take the picture. That's going to be the picture for this fucking podcast, but. How many podcasts have you put out? This is going to be the third. Oh, the third? I'll have yeah. to check out the second. Yeah. It's, uh, I went through a few songs. Um, it's whatever. But, uh. Fuck, what was I saying? I don't even remember, dude. Oh, yeah, I made... I called it the old brother packet because I'm... The whole reason I made this packet was to give it to my siblings. And, you know, just get them thinking. It's questions that I wish someone would have asked me when I was their age. All of their ages. Because I, I was each one of them. Like, I just... Yeah. Do you edit these afterwards, or... I you? haven't been, no. I've just been keeping it raw. Like, just keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> this was the recording. This is what... <laughs> <like> <laughs> when you get it up and running, you'll have to send me the link so I can show a bunch of people. Get them up It'll, and get them your... I can publish it, like, immediately after. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll send it to a bunch of my buddies. Um, shit, okay, there's, there's seven minutes, or six minutes left before it'll automatically cut out, because it cuts out after an hour we've we're at 53 minutes and 53 seconds right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I'm definitely going to make these packets a thing. Like, yeah, they're good. They're good was, questions. It was... Like, thank I, you. Thank I, you. I, I wasn't expecting you to get in this depth of thought. I, I had a but wide range in it, You honestly. had a very wide range. <laughs> you went all the way to aliens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I was... I thought of it last night and I just I started writing it at work literally because I was like you know what I'm here at work I could fucking just print it off <laughs> like 
So I just I threw it together real quick. I think I have hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi right, guys, Cooper the Frog here. <laughs> that was not bad. Dude. That was pretty fucking cool. My buddy does it like on point, and he does high five ghosts, like exactly like high five ghosts. High five ghosts. Regular five. show. Regular. Oh, dude, fuck. Dude, he does it exactly I've seen like that in so long. It's it's ridiculous. High five. Ghosts. Muscle man. He's just I'd have to rewatch like it. Man. Man. I'm not but, catching these. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I really want to go watch? What's this it? gets down a little dark. You don't judge me, okay? I'm not gonna. No Austin and Alley, bro. Austin, dude, I used to watch <laughs> that. Man. It's such a good show. It wasn't terrible at all. Like I don't know. I was intrigued. I think it was the whole musician. And now aspect, that I realize that like, Alley got hot, bro. Is she? She got really hot during the, the making of the show. <laughs> she like, started she out started, okay. <laughs> no, nah, she turned out eh. But then she gets like blonde highlights hey, we, and stuff. You were younger than me. Clothes. I was like fucking. 10, 12 years old watching this shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> hey, bro, question. Any chance I could hit your... The adapt it? Yeah. Dude, fucking word up. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oh, shit, I shut it up. I was trying to turn it up. Turn up and turn up. Turn up? <laughs> <laughs> turn up and turn up. That's a turn off. Again, if you want. Thanks, man. Uh, I feel a burp. I hate that feeling when I feel like I need a burp, but I don't burp. <laughs> um, I don't have a. You know what? <coughs> they should be okay, really. I was gonna say I'll give you this folder. No, bro, folder you're good. I'm not. This will be fine. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna show my friends this though. I'll be like, me and this. I was hanging out with this dude, <laughs> and he ended up giving me this, and we ended up recording a podcast. He asked me the questions. You want the podcast, bro? It's like an hour long. It gets into some deep shit. Yeah, dude. Honest, all this was spontaneous. I fucking love it. <laughs> Do you want to hit this again? Are you good? I mean, I'm always down for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, I, I've enjoyed it. Definitely. I mean, we could keep it going after the hour, too, if you really want it. I mean, what do you... You got shit to do? No? I, I got tomorrow <gasps> off. Oh, fuck. That was a big one, bro. <laughs> <coughs> Deep breaths. <coughs> if I take one more, just run it back. Okay. I don't... That was given to me, so, like, I'm good. Um, <coughs> that's dope. Yeah, I'll be feeling too much. I'll be feeling too much. Dude, <coughs> I, I feel it. turned up. I really. Uh, no, it was a it was a notification. There's <coughs> two minutes left. Sorry about the coffee, folks. No, we're, it, dude, I peed. I went in, in that first one. You said you listened to the first one, right? Yeah. Did you I hear mean, that I part? Was really high when I listened to it, though. I was like, I'll be right back, and I didn't think that. You know, the bathroom's in the whole next room. Like, I didn't think that I'd be able to hear myself pee on the podcast. But... Oh, did you hear me pee? Oh, me? I no, I was talking while you were in there, so oh, I doubt it. Okay. But, like, when I was just by myself, recording by myself, like, I went and peed, so it was complete silence besides me peeing, because <laughs> I was home alone. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know, it's funny. You can literally hear the whole stream, and then, like, even the after stream, like, you know, when you're done, and then you, like, get the that is rest. <laughs> like, it was funny. Yeah, no, bro. Podcasts are fun. Could you just get to sit, talk about great shit? Yeah, we're not. I've def- yeah, I've, this is the first one I've done with someone else. Wait, like, I feel honored by, by, by I feel honored that it happened like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is good shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you hit me up, too. Yeah, like, I saw it, I'm like, fuck, I have nothing else to do. I'm like, give the guy a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right now, okay, I get my license back and literally... What did you do this time? It's... Hold on. I'm gonna... It's at 59 seconds, 15... Er, 17 seconds, so I'm gonna just stop it and then... Okay. Yeah, I'll put it all together, but I'm gonna record the next one. So it, uh... I'll, I'll explain the story. <laughs> so, Aiden and I, we're gonna... 
continue the podcast, and I was going to explain the story of why my license got suspended. Um, it's it's something stupid. It was just insurance. I couldn't pay my bill. Um, yeah, just just something stupid, stupid. But uh, we ended up right after that. You know, like we said earlier in the podcast, we started listening to a few songs. Um, because I can't play it. I can't play music on here unless I get permission from the artist or whatever. But uh, yeah, we we were just chopping it up off, you know, not recording or whatever, and he ended up having to leave. So this is the end of this one. Um, yeah, pretty much. Just thought I'd uh, give a little bit of an explanation on why it just cut off like that. I mean, I did, but then, you know, he had to leave, so different stuff happened. Um, yeah, I hope everybody has a wonderful day, wonderful night. Depends on when you're listening to this. If if you're driving, you know, I hope you're driving safe. Just pay attention. <laughs> Don't be driving drunk. Um, if you're just sitting there chilling, smoking a blunt, fucking, or if you're, you're about to smoke, or if you just did smoke, smoke again, because, uh, you know, blaze a little up for me, I'll be high in spirit, it'll all work out, um, yeah, much love to everybody, have a good one.